Seven Wonders is a fast-paced and surprisingly strategic card drafting game that has many different paths to victory. In Seven Wonders, players all draw from the same pool of cards to build a powerful civilization with one of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World at its center. It plays in an average of only 45 minutes and can support anywhere from two to seven players. It also comes with one expansion called Leaders, which adds a new gameplay mechanic in the form of leader cards, as well as an eighth wonder. At the beginning of the game, each player is assigned a wonder. These wonders come with a board, and the board shows you what resources and benefits come with that wonder, as well as the price of each of the stages. Seven Wonders plays out in three distinct ages, each of which has its own dedicated deck of cards to draw from. At the start of the age, this deck is evenly divided up among all of the players. Players then take a look at their hand, choose one card to build, pay its cost, and pass the remaining cards to their neighbor. All of the cards that have just been built are then revealed simultaneously. Players have several different options when they're choosing cards to build their tableau with. Gray and brown resource cards provide valuable resources that can be used to buy other cards as well as to build up their wonder. Blue and purple guild and building cards provide victory points. Green science cards provide resources as well as victory points. Yellow commercial cards give you money. And red cards build up your military might. A lot of the cards have benefits that depend on what's happening with the players on either side of you. So be sure to keep an eye on their progress as well as your own. Players can also choose to play a card face down below their wonder board, which prevents them from gaining its particular benefits, but give, lets them build another stage of their wonder and gives them the benefits associated with their wonder board. They can also discard a card to gain three gold. The drawing and building process continues until every player only has one card left in their hand, and these are then discarded to signal the end of an age. At the end of each age comes a combat phase. This is when you compare your military might to that of your neighbors. If you win versus your neighbor, you get one victory point. If you lose, you lose one victory point. After the combat phase is done, you move on to the next age of the game, so that gives you a whole new deck of cards to choose from. After the combat phase at the end of the third age, the game is over and the players tally up their victory points. The player with the most victory points wins the game. One of the really amazing things you're going to notice about this game as soon as you take it out of the box is the gorgeous nature of the artwork and the color. It's just a beautiful game to look at. There's a lot of gorgeous pictures and you're really going to enjoy that part of it. Also, it's, there's a lot of variety. As we've been saying, there's a lot of different ways to win this game. So you can play this game many, many times, try different strategies every time, and you're still going to end up with a really fun, really fast-paced, nice game. However, a con is that because it is so fast-paced, people who are starting the game for the first time might get a little bit lost in the rules, might be moving too fast for them, might take a few times through this game to really understand how to use the cards that are coming your way and how to develop a strategy. One other thing that may trip up new players is the symbols on the cards that tell you what their function is and what their prerequisites are are not super intuitive. So your first few rounds of the game may get slowed down by checking the rulebook to see what a particular card means. That being said, this is a really great and social tableau building game. There's a high level of interaction and because it supports so many people, it's a really good game to play at parties and sort of geeky social gatherings.